the holidays sure look a lot different this year, but again, we're very happy to bring you some holiday cheer right into your living rooms. And we do that with Michael Boxel today from Minnesota United. Thank you for joining us, Michael. Um, as a New Zealander, I'm guessing your Christmas traditions are a little bit different than what we have in the United States. Uh, explain Christmas in the middle of summer, <laughs> New Zealand the climate anyway, what is it like there? Yeah, obviously very different to here. I mean, for us, because it's getting colder and colder, it feels less like Christmas because whenever we're gearing up for Christmas, it's getting your, your swimsuit on, it's going to the beach, it's it's at the pool. And um, yeah, I think everyone in Minnesota is doing the, the complete opposite. So yeah, very, very different to here. And we have all these songs about walking in a winter wonderland and the snow is falling and all of that. Do you in New Zealand have totally different Christmas songs that reflect the climate? We actually don't. It's pretty much the same Christmas album. So, I mean, every November, December, you you got the Buble and Mariah Carey coming on. So, um, <laughs> no, those, I mean, I imagine they're pretty big hits in just about every country around the world. So you're walking around at the beach singing... Walking winter wonderland. <laughs> Pretty much, yeah. Which is, yeah. I understand the irony, but it's, yeah. You can't hold back on the Christmas songs. Whatever works. What do you love to eat? Because we associate that with so much of our holiday traditions. What's mm -hmm. a favorite of yours during the holiday season? Um, usually every Christmas day, we I have like a big. We have just have a big family lunch, and my favorite meal of that day is so we just get like a big fresh salmon we just throw that on the barbecue um with all the garnishes uh lemon and everything and it's yeah it's it's pretty good it's the the one thing i, I definitely look forward to that day is that more specific to your family or is that a big new zealand tradition to have salmon on christmas i think it's mostly specific to to my family obviously we uh, in New Zealand, everyone has their Christmas hams. Um, they're usually pretty big, but obviously because it's summertime, a lot of Kiwi families just just have barbecue. So there's just steak, sausages, and just a usual barbecue. I think that's that's always pretty popular. But yeah, in my um, household at home, it's it's salmon. And I had read up a little bit on what the holidays are like in New Zealand, and read about this Auckland Santa Parade. Is that a big deal? Um. Not for me and my family. That's not something we we really go to. I think we stay away from the crowds. We will go to like the beaches, to the parks. And actually in New Zealand, there's this pretty cool um, tradition. I mean, it's not really tradition, but it's the seasonal tree that always turns red around Christmas. It's called the Bahutakawa. Um, so that's what we call our New Zealand Christmas tree. So whenever that starts blooming, that's when we know in summertime that Christmas is just around the corner. Mm. Mm. And is it just a big time for family and reuniting and traditionally anyway, mm -hmm. um, coming together? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it is. Um, obviously, it's smack bang in the middle of our, our summer holidays. So, um, yeah, obviously, people travel from all around the country to be back with their family. And then um, my wife and kids, we obviously head back to New Zealand from Minnesota. And, um, yeah, it's obviously a very important time to, to be with be with the loved ones. And having spent just a little bit of Minnesota winter here, is there an activity, an outdoor activity that you found that you really adjusted to and really like being outside in the Minnesota winter doing? Um, I mean, in the previous years, we, we usually, our season's ended by this point and we, uh, we've we left already, so we don't see too much of the snow, but obviously we're here now and we've had a few, a few snowfalls already, so um it's been fun taking my daughter she loves getting on the sled doesn't love pulling it up the hill but so that's my job so she just gets the fun part riding down it um she oh, it's nothing i like love about it but she she loves to eat the snow <laughs> like eat i can't stop yeah i can't stop her from doing that so it's it's kind of cute and a obviously a, a bit of a novelty for us because we i've grown up never having really seen the snow mm. as long as it's white yeah, yeah, of course. <laughs> Michael, is there anything that you'd like to say to Loons fans in particular and just Minnesota sports fans in general and well wishes for this holiday season? 
Um, I think obviously it's been such a tough year for everybody and um, it's kind of been sad that we haven't been able to have our fans, our loyal fans at our stadium. So, but even without that, we have felt their support um, through messages, through social media and whatnot. So thank you all for this year, praying for a better year next year. And yeah, I hope you all get to spend spend the uh, the holidays with, with your loved ones. Well said, we wish you the best mm -hmm. and uh, happy holidays, Michael, to you and to your family. Thank you very much and same to you. Thank you.